It's our little fairy gardens that we have, and they're pretty kid, children oriented. Uh, we have little plants that we're going to put into them, and then there's things like columns, chairs, uh, birdhouses, pots, little fairies, and you could just make your own uh, fairy garden with whatever you want to use over here. We even have fences. So we do have the miniature plants that we're going to put in there. And uh, this is a scented geranium that smells like oak. And this one, it smells like gooseberry. And these woolly pockets are for indoor use. I have some. These are for indoor use on this side. These are for outdoor use. I do use them for patios. Uh, you could make living walls, as you see over there. I do have living walls uh, that I'm growing different things of. And then this is a small living wall that I have going on here. Uh, they're really fun and they're made with wool and it doesn't take but once every two weeks to water them. They have rubber on the inside of it that protects the wall. I really do like those. They're also called Wally. There's a beautiful broom. Right here are some real pretty brooms. Right now we have a lot of red, but they're going to be coming in limes and purples and hot pinks. Uh, they evidently were the best sellers because they were back ordered. Uh, I love these. They're handmade brooms uh, from Africa and they really, really work. We've been using one here at uh, Seed and I just love it. It has little dust pans and little whisk brooms, all sorts of different things. I have pots over here. We're going to have fresh flowers and uh, fresh eggs from my egg collection and my girlfriend's egg collection. Over here we have some uh, birdhouses and I absolutely love this guy. His name's David Bruce. He's from Arizona. I saw his work in Colorado. He's using all recyclable uh, material, even the wood's recyclable. And right here, he even uses his old paint brushes for uh, the birds to sit for a perch. Can you pull here. one off the shelf and show us? Yes. Here's one of his old paint brushes. It even has paint on the end of it that makes it stiff so that the bird can sit on it. I, I just, this is one of my favorites. The first time I saw it, I was just like, I need to find that guy. He has Dr. Seuss houses, he has condos, he has all sorts of different things. Right here is a bed for that the bird could perch on. I love that one too. He has spoons, he has spigots up here, faucet. Okay.